the total solar eclipse on April 8, 2024 will be one of the most significant astronomical events of the year. Observers from the United States, Mexico, and Canada will be able to witness this rare moment that will turn day into night. At the same time, the Comet 12P Pons Brooks, nicknamed the Devil's Comet, may be visible in the sky at the same instant. The large influx of tourists and eclipse chasers has led U.S. authorities to issue safety alerts for the population. Despite its beauty, solar eclipses can be dangerous for human vision. Observation requires care not only for health, but also for traffic, logistics, and maintenance of networks, especially in the path of totality. Earth echoes will resonate on this stellar journey, documenting where, when, and how to witness one of the most impressive visual phenomena in the universe. Up to four million tourists are expected to travel to North America, mainly to the United States, to closely follow the total solar eclipse the magnitude of the astronomical event has already earned it the title of the Great Eclipse of North America. The phenomenon will be the first total solar eclipse visible in Canada since February 26, 1979. In Mexico, the last event of this magnitude occurred in July 1991, while the USA experienced a similar eclipse on August 21, 2017. However, the April 8 eclipse will be even more special than the previous ones. It will be longer than the last, and the solar corona will be even more visible and intense around the Ring of Fire. An event of this magnitude will not occur again in North America until 2044. In Europe, the eclipse will be partially visible in Norway, Iceland, and Ireland. The western part of Great Britain, northwest Spain, and Portugal will also be able to witness the phenomenon. To see all stages of the eclipse, one must be in a location within this path of totality, about 200 kilometers wide. If the weather permits, most North Americans will be able to watch the partial eclipse phase, which will last between 70 and 80 minutes. Those along the path of totality will see day turn into night in a matter of minutes, when the sun and moon align perfectly in the sky. Expectations are high for Texas to be the primary destination for most visitors, with an estimated more than one million tourists. The states of Indiana and Ohio are also on the radar of eclipse chasers, with up to half a million people each. With the large influx of tourists, several safety alerts have been issued by U.S. authorities. Many individuals are expected to travel to rural areas to observe the phenomenon under clearer skies. Interstate highways near the regions affected by totality will be under heavy monitoring and surveillance. The Lorain County Emergency Management advises residents to stock up on food, water, and fuel. The city is not used to large crowds, and the roads are expected to be congested during the period. In parts of Texas, schools are expected to be closed. Authorities fear that the darkness could pose a safety risk for students. Some regions are also concerned about the emergency services ability to respond to the large influx of spectators. This is because during eclipses it is common for observers who do not adequately protect their eyes to suffer eye injuries. All this preparation is not without reason. The movement during the 2017 solar eclipse overwhelmed limited transportation facilities. Trips from Casper, in Wyoming, to Denver, Colorado, which usually take four hours, took about 10 hours or more at the time. On rural interstate routes, traffic jams lasted up to 13 hours after the event. Residents are preparing for possible disruptions involving blocked roads, overcrowded hospitals, and interrupted cellular networks. The New York Police Department has issued alerts anticipating that excessive cell phone and internet usage could cause telecommunications failures. U.S. carriers claim they are reinforcing their networks to prevent slowdowns or complete interruptions during peak traffic. To mitigate problems, authorities recommend stocking up on basic items and postponing commitments and trips during the period. Astronomers point out that the solar eclipse on April 8th will surpass others of the same category.
it will last about two minutes longer and the solar corona will become even brighter and visible. Observers will witness a solar corona larger than usual with a more symmetrical shape, similar to a sunflower. That's because the sun is heading towards the period known as solar maximum, which occurs once in approximately an 11 year solar cycle. Predictions indicated a solar peak in 2025, but researchers believe it is already in full swing and activity. The latest solar storm set power records, causing instabilities in electrical grids. During the total solar eclipse, the planets Venus and Jupiter will also be shining brighter on the horizon. Not to mention the passage of the comet 12P Ponsbrooks, nicknamed the Devil's Comet which may cross the sky at the same time. This celestial body orbits the sun every 71 years and in 2024 will once again approach the center of the solar system. The comet is popularly known as the Devil's Comet because its tail shimmers and burns in the shape of a horn. It will be visible to the naked eye during dusk. In suitable brightness, however, the comet can be followed simultaneously with the eclipse. This time, 99% of residents in the United States will be able to see the total or partial eclipse directly from their backyard. Over 650 million residents in the USA, Canada, and Mexico will be able to see at least a partial solar eclipse. Another 31 million people residing in strategic locations within the path of totality will be able to watch the complete event from their windows. The predictability and democratization of the internet have further expanded the reach of the news, attracting millions of tourists. For residents and inhabitants of regions near the eclipse, the phenomenon also promises to be remarkable. About 300 couples from Arkansas have chosen the special date to exchange vows and say I do in front of the wedding of the sun and the moon. Some mystical beliefs and currents see the meeting of the star with the natural satellite in a somber and ominous way. The astrological phenomenon occurs when the moon, earth, and sun are completely aligned, momentarily blocking the sunlight. For four minutes, the moon will completely cover the face of the sun, plunging the day into complete darkness. The shadow's path will stretch from Texas to Maine, reaching various states and intermediate cities. In Dallas, Texas, the moon will begin to cover the sun from 12.20 p.m. Totality will be reached at 1.40 p.m. with an expected end at 3 p.m. Eclipse chasers or umbrophiles are people who plan in advance to closely follow this type of astronomical event. The large influx of visitors promises to be the largest mass travel event in the United States in 2024. The convergence of these rare conditions combined with the large contingent of spectators, is comparable to 50 simultaneous Super Bowls in the country. The total solar eclipse will begin in the South Pacific Ocean, first reaching the coast of Mexico around 11 p.m. From Mexico, it will enter the USA, passing through Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, and Kentucky. Next, the spectacle will take over the states of Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Small parts of Tennessee and Michigan are also within the path of the total solar eclipse, according to NASA. In Canada, the eclipse will begin later, in southern Ontario, and will pass through Quebec until it fades in the Atlantic at 5 p.m. For those intending to witness the magical moment, scientists and health authorities warn of the dangers of the total solar eclipse. Despite its beauty, careless viewing can result in severe damage to human vision. The momentary darkness may give the false impression that it is safe to look directly at the sun. However, observation without adequate protection, even for a few seconds, can lead to eclipse blindness. Discomforts and visual problems may manifest after a few hours or days, causing temporary or permanent blindness. Sunglasses, even with 100% UV protection, are unable to completely filter solar radiation on the retina. 
Observing any part of the sun through camera lenses, binoculars, or telescopes without special filters can also cause serious eye injuries. NASA does not endorse any specific brand of solar viewers. Safe eclipse glasses need to comply with the international ISO standard. If the object is torn, scratched, or damaged, it is best to discard the device. Additionally, experts warn against false certifications sold on popular websites like Amazon. To avoid risks, the American Astronomical Society offers a list of reputable suppliers to purchase equipment. Furthermore, doctors emphasize the importance of skin care. It is essential to use sunscreen, hats, and protective clothing in cases of prolonged direct sun exposure. Observing a total solar eclipse is considered rare. This is because the moon's umbra is small, limiting the area where the event is visible. To observe the phenomenon, one must be on the side of the Earth with ample sunlight and in the path of the lunar shadow. According to NASA, total solar eclipses occur in the same location on the planet every 375 years. The agency will provide official coverage of the event live through its website, app, and official YouTube channel. Earth Echoes will continue on the trail of this dark and powerful encounter from outer space. If the information has been helpful, please leave a comment stating where you will be watching the phenomenon from. Don't forget to like and share the content. See you in the next eclipse.